finish the target. What time is it? It's Shia time. It's treehouse time. Thanks, Ashton. Okay, today we've asked the Gorky kids to help with the word of the day. Hey, kids, what's the word of the day? The word of the day is on hold. On hold. Like on the telephone. I get it. All right. Well, friends, I'm not sure if you've ever been put on hold, but I bet your parents have. Maybe they're needing to call the cable company about the third rate increase this year. Or maybe they're calling a store to find out if they're having the BOGO sale on three wick candles. Anyway, they press the appropriate numbers so they can talk to the right department. It starts ringing and ringing. Then finally, a human answers on the other end. You ask your question and then they say, let me check, I'll have to put you on hold. How long will you be on hold? I do not know. You do not know. Your parents do not know. You're at the mercy of the person on the other end. Maybe they will be able to find out the answer to your question, but maybe not. Maybe another customer will distract them and they'll forget what they went to do and you'll be stuck on hold forever. Or maybe they will go on their lunch break eating their turkey sandwich and Doritos chips. When will they come back on the line? Huh? Doritos own the sandwich? Hmm. Well, did you know that sometimes God puts us on hold? So often we give him a call through prayer, and then we ask a question or tell him something we need. He hears us, but sometimes we don't hear back from him. Sometimes he doesn't answer the question, and sometimes nothing happens. Well, one thing is for sure. It ain't because he gets distracted by another customer and forgets about you. And it ain't because he went on his lunch break to eat a turkey sandwich. It's because God has a different timing than us. He has different plans than we do. We want things when we want them. But God knows what is best. And he does it when it is the perfect time. Not on our time. Other times, God decides to not give us what we ask for at all. And when that happens, that's when our faith really has to kick in. <laughs> faith is trusting that God sees the future. Faith is trusting that God has perfect timing. And faith is trusting that God knows what is best for you and for me, even though it doesn't always make sense in the moment. That's what faith is. If we can truly trust God, then we can say, no matter what happens, God knows what's best for me, and I'm okay with that. Woo, friends! Sometimes it's easier to say it than believe it, but the more you spend time following Jesus, the more you will see how wonderfully perfect his plans for you come together, and you will see they are always better than anything you could plan or want. But in the meantime, you might have to trust him when you are on hold. That's right. Thanks, Ryan, Sophia, Lily, Molly, and Layla. Okay. 
I reckon it's almost time to say so long to our compadres. But first, Ashton! Read your Bible, partner. Keep loving and worshiping God. Love others. Tell everyone about Jesus. Jesus really loves you, and so do I. Thanks, partner. Get along, little doggies. And kittens. Yeehaw! <laughs> so long from the treehouse.